Hi, Swizz. Hi, Kelly. Happy 2010. We made it to another year on PC Week. We're back live from Studio A, and you can hear the live. It's a big night tonight. Take a look at all of this. I know. I love it. I love this. I love Janice. I love all the bands that put this all together. Tonight, we have quite a treat, but before... We tell you all of Oh, it. there's always got to be a before. Mm -hmm. Say, guess what? I'm talking to you. What? I'm going to Tesla tomorrow night. You know Tesla, Little Susie, the yes. love song. And I just found out that I got a press pass because of TC Music, so I will be taking pictures with the band. Oh, we're so yeah. important, aren't we? I know. <laughs> I love it. I seriously found out this week, and I have not been able to sleep. I mean, and then I, of course, I took out well, my... Well, you look pretty good for not sleeping. Yeah. Oh, no. I'm trying to get all the words down again. It's kind of like riding a bike, though. I'm like... Ooh, I gotta get that one in. The bridge is there, and I'm like, I forgot about this one. And then the drum comes in. And I'm just like, okay, I have got to control myself. <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah. Well, it was. Uh, I I have. I really apologize for this, but I have to show you a picture. This. Is that you with hair? <laughs> no, oh. it's not that old of a picture. This, if anybody can focus in so closely, is a man named Vic Chestnut. And uh, I'm sad to report that we lost him on Christmas Day. Oh, Swizz. And uh, Vic did pretty well. He faced life for 27 years in that wheelchair there. And I think the best thing that I heard said about Vic was by our own Slim Dunlap. He just said Vic was better than any of us. Nice, nice. You know what? I'm so sorry to hear that. You know, though, but bringing it into 2010, he will never, ever be forgotten. And you're a good friend for mentioning him. Yeah, well, he's got, uh, I don't know, probably about a dozen albums, and you can still hear plenty of Vic, and there's nothing like it. So, coming so going up. going on tonight... Um, you know what? Not, he, not, he, not, he would tonight, love this tonight. <laughs> tonight. He'd be rolling in because tonight we have such a big crowd because you have got to save the date. And the date is the 22nd. You know, this is the big thing. That oh, my gosh. I mean, Janice was it. I mean, I, another person who whenever you go to, like, I, I hate saying this, but everybody thinks they sound like her, but they don't. Everybody thinks they can really pull off. A show, but they can't <laughs> until I met the group tonight. And the reason why is I kind of figured it out. There are so many of them here that I think they took all the best bands in the city and in the state, and maybe even tri-state, put them together because why? They love the music, they love the songs, the lyrics, everything to go with it. And now there's a tribute on the 22nd, of course celebrating her birthday. Well, some of us are old enough to remember when we first heard Janis Joplin as it came out. That would be him. Camera, focus over there. And mm -hmm. God bless the rest of you. Thank you. Who are not that old Thank and you very much. found out about it because it's one of those things that is good enough to go on forever. Speaking Which of, it does. <laughs> I'm ready for some rock and roll. Let's roll it. What do you think out there? We got a live audience. Yes? <laughs> Told you. You're going to see it right now here on TC Music. Check out these pipes on it's this girl. Happy birthday, Janice. Uh huh. I'm having a shot afterwards for her. Busted flat in Baton Rouge, waiting for a train. 
And I was feeling near as faded as my jeans Bobby thumbed a diesel down just before it rained And rode us all the way to New Orleans Playing soft while Bobby sang the blues, yeah. Windshield wipers laughing time. I was holding Bobby's hand in mine, and we sang every song that driver knew. Freedom's just another word for nothing left to lose. Nothing, don't mean nothing, honey, if it ain't free. enough for me and my Bobby Mickey. All right. From the Kentucky coal mine to the California sun. Yeah, Bobby shared the secrets of my soul. Through all kinds of weather, through everything we've done. Yeah, Bobby, baby, kept me from the cold. For that home And I hope he finds it But I'd trade all of my tomorrows For one single yesterday To be holding Bobby's body Next to mine Freedom's just another word For nothing left to lose Nothing And that's all that Bobby left to me For me and my Bobby La da da La da 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 La da 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 La da 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 Bobby McGee La da 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 La da 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 La da 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 Bobby McGee La da da
Thank you. You know, there's a little story actually that goes behind that song that a lot of people probably don't know. Oh, sorry. Um, Janice actually never got to perform that song in front of a live audience, ever. She only had just recorded that song right before she passed away. So it's kind of a, an extra special tune uh, for that reason. And it's one of her most popular ones, which is kind of interesting since she never actually got to perform it. So there you go, Janice Facts 101. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to bring my, ten, my friend Bettina up here uh, to do the next song. And part of this Janice tribute is we're going to have a whole bunch of different singers. So here she is, Bettina Vigemil. Not quite as tall. <clears throat> Jill back up here to sing another song for you. <laughs> I'm on a water break. One second. As you can imagine, it, it kind of kills the pipes, this Janice singing. Got to do it, though.
told you cause you got to know that all you're ever gonna have to count on or gonna wanna lean on it's gonna feel just like those raindrops do when they're falling down Thank you. Jill, Jill, Jill. I mean, seriously, I am I'm amazed. And yes, you're right. It takes a lot out on the pipes. We appreciate that because it is a treat to have you here. So now we have a big show coming up, 22nd at the Caboose. I'm going to show the poster real quick. Swizzo, um, I want to ask her this. What is your favorite part about doing a benefit like this, like a night an event? You know what, the place to be. Oh man, well I'd say my favorite my favorite uh, part about doing that show actually is that um, Janice Joplin happens to mean a, a ton to me personally. I actually did a show in 2007 um, at the Ordway in St. Paul called Love Janice. And that played there for 10 weeks and I got to um, play Janice Joplin for 10 weeks in a big theater and it was like a pretty much a dream come true I think for any female singer to be able to play Janis Joplin it's like really wow whoa so, whoa whoa, whoa. It, it would be like a dream of mine to sing like Janis <laughs> Joplin <laughs> I mean oh we're gonna have to hang out sometime because I know all the boys are gonna be following you and I'm gonna be right next to your side is what I was just thinking is that okay with you yes that works that's totally fine <laughs> Okay. On top of it, all these people in the audience are so much fun. We're just totally hanging out. You have a lot of people that follow this, huh? Yeah, I have. We, we all have a ton of help, and all of these people that are here today are volunteers and are really good friends that are helping to promote the show. So thank you guys for being here and for all your work. We really appreciate it. And it's get, great. Yeah, get tickets at the Caboose. Now, are you with your own band yourself or? Or yeah. what's the name we of that have band? a lot of bands represented yeah, there's, there's, here, don't we? Yeah, there's a whole plethora of bands up here on this stage. Um, I play in a band called Uncomfortable Uncle. Um, we play at the Downtime Bar, which is here in Dinky in Dinky Town kind of area um, on 15th and University. And I'll, actually, a lot of us here play there quite often. And then a couple of us also up here play in Bettina's band, which she will be telling you about. She's when she, right she over needs here. She to come back up here. Yes. Her in one second, I promise. So when we say all types of bands, I mean, so your name is? I'm Brad Solheim. And which band can we find you at? Uh, one that's not playing anymore, but... Uh, <laughs> you set me up, Jill! Well, me, me and Neil and uh, John on drums there used to be in a band called Fancy Bastard, and Eric also put a stint in with Fancy, and... Uh, just ended about a little over a year ago it was when we played our last show. But oh, that bastard for breaking up. I mean, Something, come on. <laughs> Something indeed, coming indeed. up, maybe. Oh, of course. Always, always something coming up. So. Okay. Yeah. So look for it soon. February. <laughs> February. February what? Uh, yeah, what? We're doing, we do another uh, with Jill and John and I and Neil, actually. We do another band together. Uh, it's called Tiny Mirrors. Which is like a funk, disco, fun, like dance band, and play okay. around town a little bit. Once or twice a year, we get a string of shows together and you know play in and out of town. So 
We're doing February 27th at Memory Lanes in Minneapolis. Oh, I love Memory Lanes. Right yeah. in the middle of the bowling alley. Yeah. In the alley and everybody bowls around <laughs> us. It's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Seriously, like I really need to get to know you guys a lot better. <laughs> you know, one of the things that I have seen here tonight, if you take a look, there are music stands. There is actually music on these stands. You guys are all real players, right? And uh, for for whoa, regular whoa, bands, whoa. For, for regular bands that you may have, you're all capable. And it sounds like you work a lot of things just that appear occasionally, and you can fall in on these things and make it sound this good. Well, thank you. Yeah, I guess uh, I'm new to the Minneapolis area, but I've been very welcomed here. I'm from North Dakota. I uh, played in a band called Gypsy Foot there for six years, and now I've been, been playing in a bunch of different groups up here, uh, including Bettina. We play every Monday at the downtime, and also I play every Sunday at the downtime with a group called PB in the Jam. Um, also playing with a band called High and Tight, who's been playing around this part, these parts for quite a while, and a new group called The Regulars, so keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> I love it. And you are? Well, my name is Joseph McCauley. All right. This is our this is our other singer, and how many are we gonna see on the twenty second? This is Bettina. I'll be singing four songs on the twenty second. Um, yeah. You know, along with with everything about being so difficult to sing, Janice. I remember just last month talking to Curtis A, who does the John Lennon yeah. thing, and one of the things that he mentioned to us more than once was, "I try to get all of the guys in the band to take at least one <laughs> to take a little bit of the load off." All right, all right. I'm going over here. We got a lot of people, and I want to get back to the music. Let's get going. Now, uh, speaking of players, uh, I thought I was the only player over here, but okay, uh, I'll let you take a little bit. Where are you from? As far as where'd you grow up? Um, I grew up in North Dakota as well, same as, as Joe. Um, but a different town, so. And so you're part of the same band that everybody's, you, you guys go and do like all the most exciting events like at Bowling Alleys and the yep. downtown. <laughs> yep, I'm part of that band as well. As, um, Basement Sun is the band that I'm currently in um, outside of the other various things that I'm in with, with these guys. And we're playing the Caboose on the 20th, so just two days before um, Janice. So next Wednesday we'll be at the Caboose. Well, let's take a run for that. Now you're kind of the quiet one back here, so I'm curious, do you do a lot of the writing? Uh, yeah, I wrote all of the Janus tunes. <laughs> wow! I'm not that blonde. Ladies and gentlemen, our greatest oh, straight man. That's it. <laughs> I'm moving on. Swizzle, take it from there over there. My feelings are... I just want to point out one thing. That bass player there is working on a Fender Jazz. Four strings, boys and girls. He makes it happen with four strings. It's beauty. It is absolutely gorgeous. Back here, I got a drummer here. boy. Oh, let's talk to the drummer. And I certainly will. Your name is? It's John Henderson. And how did you meet the whole gang? Oh, well, I, that's kind of a long story. To keep it short, um, basically everybody that's around here, I've played either in a band with currently or have in the past or multiple versions of that. Uh, Brad and Jill and I went to college together. But uh, the rest of us have gotten together through different projects. Uh, Sam and Jill and I playing Uncle together. Eric used to play Fancy with Brad and Neil and I. Like, you could just go around the room, you know, everybody's kind of been playing together for around town here for a while. Well, I got a question for you. I was permutation wondering. permutation sorts of things. Yeah. Right. How many bands yeah. can you build out of this many people? Right. Yeah, exactly. And it's a lot. It's, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, I got a question then for you. My question for you is, what is the most embarrassing thing he has ever done? <laughs> you know, I, I really don't know. I can't think of anything. Honestly, I can't. I kid, Bass I players kid. are like that. Sorry, you want embarrassing things, you got to ask what the drummer did last uh, night. That's a whole other issue. But I, I, I stay away from the drummer question. Yeah, we'll save that one for <laughs> Thanks, a private Rizzo. meeting. Yeah, yeah, be safe. <laughs> uh, let me step back here first of all, because this guy, this guy hauled in the whole deal boys and girls please meet the Hammond B3 <laughs> not only the B3 but the Leslie that goes with it this is a very very strong man and God bless you for pulling in this whole rig yeah. well you have to for Janice these are all uh, vintage keyboards so this is a 62 
Uh, that's the Leslie's a 55, and this keyboard's a 58. So all the same gear Janice keyboards players would have been using. <laughs> It's just beautiful. Well, speaking um, of it, I think we really should get back to the show because it's oh, fun to interview, so but much, I want to hear the so music. so much going on. I want to just do uh, th three or four things real quick. Uh, Saturday night at Lee's Liquors, Robert Gordon is coming to town. And if you haven't uh, known him before, take a look and come and see on Saturday. Coming up on the 6th of February is our annual Sheridan Neighborhood Organization Snowball Live Music. We're going to have a crawl up and down 13th Avenue, SheridanNeighborhood.org. On the 13th of February at 1st Avenue, ladies and gentlemen, the suburbs. Oh, sweet. In tribute to our late great friend Bruce Allen. And on the 20th, I'm going to do this. I apologize for the competition, but our old friend Dale T. Nelson is having his birthday party at 7th Street Entry. And that's always tons of bands and tons of fun. Right now... No, 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 hey, no. What, 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 know, what, what, uh, you what, didn't what? talk about the guitar. I wanted to know about the guitar. And I don't think the you guitar. asked the question. This thing... Yeah, I caught this one from across the room. Wow. This guy is not a drug addict, boys and girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. You don't get one of these when you're spending it all somewhere else. <laughs> tell us about the axe. Um, got a new in October. I don't know what else to say about it. I love it. <laughs> Have you been dreaming of it for a long time? It was, it was a while. <laughs> Happy birthday, Merry Christmas, and everything else, huh? Yeah. Best present you ever gave. Best present you ever gave yourself. Yes, it was the best. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All Jill. Right. Let's get these people here. So we got to be at the caboose. We got to be there on the twenty second. And you know what? I guarantee people will not regret it. There's a lot of people here in the studio tonight. Let's get back to the music, huh? Yeah. I'll see you more, there. More, 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 right. and more on the 22nd, Thanks, Brad, ladies for and this gentlemen. One. Uh, happy birthday, Janice! I'm going to have Bettina come back up here, and this is kind of a sing-along song, so uh, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you will sing along with us. you buy me a Mercedes Benz. My friends all drive Porsches. I must make amends. I worked hard all my lifetime. No help from my friends. Say, oh Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? Oh Lord, won't you buy me a color TV? I'm dialing for dollars. Is trying to find me. I wait for delivery each day into three. So, oh Lord, won't you buy me a color TV? Oh Lord, won't you buy me a night on the town? I'm counting on you, Lord. Please don't let me down. Prove that you love me and buy the next round. Say, so, oh Lord. Won't you buy me a night on the town? Everybody, oh Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? My friends all drive Porsches, I must make amends. I worked hard all my lifetime, no help from my friends. So, oh Lord, won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? <laughs> I'm going to leave this one to the guys. This is uh, an instrumental called Buried Alive in the Blues.
Aren't they good? Aren't we lucky? Thank you. Um, this one's a, a song called The Woman Left Lonely. It's actually a not very well-known song of Janice's, but one of my favorites, kind of like a soaring, belting, dramatic song. So I'm gonna leave that one to Bettina. <laughs> so here she is. Oh, mm -hmm. 
Bettina Vigemia. Hey, I just wanted to say uh, Eric and Sam didn't get a chance to talk about their band, so I'm going to show them off just for one second. Um, Eric actually plays in a band called Soap, and they've been here before on this show. I know that, and I, I saw, I watched it. It was fun. It was a blast. And then Sam Hankey back here on the keys is in a band called Absolute Groove who are also a fantastic bunch of guys. So be sure that you go check out all of the bands of these guys. So yes, that is a good question. Who's opening up on January 22nd? Um, it's a band called The Other Jones. Some of you might have heard of a, a local Grateful Dead tribute band called The Jones Gang. And uh, this is uh, another version of The Jones Gang, I guess, um, featuring members from The Jones Gang. They're going to be doing a Grateful Dead uh, set full of music. So it's kind of works together, the Grateful Dead and Janis Joplin. Jerry and Janice were good friends, so I know they would both be proud, so we're really excited to have them. Um, this next piece we're going to do, we titled it our own title. We titled it Amsterdam. And the reason why is because uh, Janice and her band went on tour in Amsterdam, and this is one of the instrumentals that they did. And we love it. It's super funky, and it, it features the horns. Joe's here tonight. Um, we're also going to have Jason Marks on trumpet and Kevin Sinclair on saxophone. Um, the other girls involved as well. I might as well just keep talking. Um, Deborah G and Steph Devine are both going to be there, as well as Katie Hayes. Um, so there's going to be five of us, which is just killer. All different uh, types of singers. And then Jason Flatiger um, from God Johnson and the Big Woo is also going to be up playing guitar with us. Is that everybody? I think so. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to leave it to these guys to play our instrumental from Amsterdam, and then I'll be up back up here. So thanks.
to play that song. It's nasty fun. Yes, I have donned the, what we now call the, Jan well, what I call the Janice robe. So there we go. Um, we're going to finish with a tune called Get It While You Can. And it's kind of a gospel-y like, uh, yeah, exactly, right? That's pretty much why we end with it. She said, isn't that the truth? Um, you'll see from the words. It's one of my favorites.
Thank you guys all so much. So once again, we're at the Caboose uh, next Friday, the 22nd. And um, we'd love for all you guys to come with us. Um, thanks so much for having us here. Thanks to Twin Cities Music. And um, I'm gonna let the, these guys jam it out. So we'll see you on the 22nd at the Caboose. Thank you.